Hey now! How's everybody doing? We're back! Episode two of Dinner and a Movie. This is the Scott Pilgrim episode. We were gonna watch this movie while we cooked, but the thing is, you lied to us. We planned the menu, and then we went to go see if Scott Pilgrim was on Amazon Prime, and it's not. So we're, we're gonna do what we did last time, and we're gonna talk about the movie, and then in episode three, we are actually gonna watch <laughs> the movie. We've already planned what it's gonna be, it's gonna be Sanic. Sanic the movie, and we're doing Olive Garden and Chili Dogs. So this episode, we're doing garlic bread, and the film is Scott Pilgrim. How do you feel about Scott Pilgrim the movie? I'm sad because I purposely didn't watch it for today. Do you see what you did? Do yeah. you see what you did? So you've never seen it. I Well, I, I've seen it years ago. I don't okay. remember any of it. Scott Pilgrim famously adapted from the graphic novel. Great dating movie. Ramona Flowers' ex-boyfriends have to be defeated for Scott to... To date her. Right. Wow, imagine. Imagine a world where a guy cared that much. <laughs> How many men would love to fight? <laughs> like three. Three men. Three men. Could he do it? I think it? he could take them. Could actually. he do it? One of my ex-boyfriends, I don't know what happened, but he currently wears tails in public. I don't know. Like a I, coat with tails or like no, furry like tails? No, like a furry tail. Oh. And a pirate hat. I don't know what happened because he was very... He's a pirate furry? Yeah. Okay, that is. actually sounds like a character from Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I huh. think I think it'd be... Um, I think he could take that guy. <laughs> I, I, I my don't money's know what happened. <laughs> okay. What about you? How many girlfriends have you had? I've had a few. I'm I'm kind of a serial dater. You are. Yeah. One of my ex girlfriends was a D1 softball player. Okay. And yeah. I watched her just beat the crap out of a full grown man. That's insane. And it was extremely erotic to me. It was to watch her beat up a, a man. I'm big into women that like are like. Shira, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, what are we cooking today? Well, we're making garlic bread. And yes. if I actually, I don't like bread that much. Does that make you feel differently about Just me? Just all bread? <laughs> yeah. That I, is I, such I, a huge category. I'm never like craving bread. Like, Ludwig loves bread. So, what about a sandwich? I, I love a sandwich, but I like, I could do without the bread. Is that weird? Did you ever see the Oprah commercial where she was talking about, she was, it starts- I love yeah, bread. <laughs> exactly. I love it. You get a bread. You get a bread. You get a bread. So uh, today we're making a pan cubano. It's a type of bread that you would normally use on a Cuban sandwich. Oh. Uh, first ingredient in bread, what do you think it is? Flour, wow, got it. Yeah, you got it, you got it, man. <laughs> flour. Will is going to measure out 480 grams of flour. With his hand. It's at 479. There you go. Yeah! Oh. No! <laughs> 481. It I'm went trash. to 481. Start it's over. Fine. Start it's over. Fine. Next, you're gonna do seven grams of instant yeast. Now, yeast is what makes bread bread, correct? Yes, uh huh. What happens is yeast eats the sugar that we're gonna add mm. and it essentially farts. And oh. those farts create the bubbles in the. It eats and then farts. Delicious, delicious farts. <laughs> Two of these. Um, that is a bad, you did a bad job. You filled it halfway up. What are you, stop shaking it. I'm trying to level there you go. it that's out. Good. That's good, that's good. <laughs> this is lard. So that's what makes a pan cubano unique is instead of butter or oil, the fat you are adding is lard. Farts and lard, <laughs> yeah. this is getting tasty. It makes, um, it makes this bread get a crunchy exterior sooner. So you can, you take this out of the oven, you let it cool for three hours. I know that's excessive, but it's important. And then- And she is ready to crisp. Yeah, and she's crispy and crunchy and amazing. So this is a secret about making bread. It doesn't have to be 10 minutes. As soon as you hear it slapping, as soon as you get that slap. When you, chat, when you get that slap, it's good to go. Oh. It starts going like this. Are you winning, son? And if you want to be an efficient baker. Yes, And always. you don't want to like hate your life, you can, you name your, name your baby. What would you like to name him? Genghis Khan. Okay, great. So we're gonna call him Genghis Khan. And he will be ready to be touched. Yes. At, what time is it? I've always wanted to touch Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got that Food Network magic, baby. Check this out, chat. You wanna see production value? Look at this. Food Network magic. We've already been fermenting. What was this one's name? This guy, I actually named him Theo. It's so fluffy. So this was the original size, and this is the new size. So it gives you an example. Once it's doubled in size, you're in a good place. You are so Food Network right <laughs> yeah. now. And now you're gonna kind of 
pull that baby from its sides. Do I give it a, a pour or do I give it a rip? Before, start start scooping it into a ball. There you go. Oh my, it's so light and fluffy. Yeah, now you're gonna plop him right in the middle and kind of start poking him. Like you're gonna, you're gonna beat him up a little bit. You're, you're poking him. <laughs> Theo, you been bad. So you're gonna actually turn him into a rectangle. So you're gonna go about 12 inches this way and eight inches that way. Oh, wow. Yes, my technique is considered <laughs> most unorthodox. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. That's very dick shaped, so I think I did a good job. You did do a good job. Oh, yeah. There he is. So now, spray him over the top. So then I'll come on here, and I know Theo needs an hour. So then, same thing. You just set him over here, and you wait an hour. And we're just gonna wait an hour, chat. Oh, just kidding. Triple Food Network. Now, what's this guy's name? This guy's name is. This dick looks awesome. He is huge. This guy's name is Evan, the example, who Damn, actually Evan. proved way too long. Damn, Evan. So before we put him in the oven, you have to score him. Oh, I can do this. Yeah. So you're just gonna slice right down the middle. Wait, is the traditional way? Cubano. Yeah, so you would see uh, baguettes usually have slits like this. That's what I was about yep. to do. But this one has a big long one down the middle. But at 400 degrees. In. In. Baking. Evan is in so the oven. Weird. What is the movie where the kid gets his head stuck? In the in the stair thing, and they and they have to his butter his head. head. Yeah, what movie is Chat, that? Chat, what is that? I can't. Think oh, of it's it. gonna bother me. Someone just said step, bro. No, guys. Oh, shit! I got my head stuck no, in the stairs guys. again. Chat, has anybody seen the new Space Jam? What did you think? Score out of ten. It's a kids movie. Do you know how many kids <laughs> movies are incredible? Shrek is a kids movie. It's incredible. incredible. The original Space Jam is a kids movie. Incredible. Iron Giant is a kids movie. Just because it's a kids that. movie doesn't mean it has to be crap. The original Space Jam is wild good. It's really good. What do you think about what they did to Lola Bunny? Listen, as a coomer and a furry myself, I was disappointed, but I, I also so am okay disappointed. with it. Because I remember actually as a kid, I remember seeing Lola Bunny and knowing she was pretty. Yeah. And how unobtainable is a bunny to a like six-year-old girl. You know what I'm saying? The beauty standards yeah, are because, absurd. Yeah, because she's a different species. Yeah, I wanted to be that bunny though, and it set me up for failure. Cause I was like, look at her. Cutie, she is she is a rabbit. She's I a rodent. I still would like to she's be She's a her. rodent. I still think about it. I wake up every morning and I'm like, dang, if only I had Lola's Dude, booty. Origi original Lola bunny was dummy. She was, she was, she was hot. But she was also a feminist icon. Don't call me doll. Yeah, she was cool. Yeah, they 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 frumped her up. Good. I think it's good for for six year olds in America today. But now, will anyone care about her? <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Like no, because oh, because people only care about people they can jack off to. No, That's a come secret on. of America. Yeah, oh really? Come on. Oh really? Let's talk about what's that actress's name in Mad Men? And then she's in like. Oh, the redhead. No, I'm talking about the the somewhat frumpy looking one. Okay. That is oh, now in. Oh yeah, Handmaiden. Handmaiden. Yeah. yeah. What is her name? I don't know, but I consciously don't know for a reason because she is. Isn't she a member of a cult? I I don't know. I but think she it, is. Isn't it interesting that no one cares to learn her name? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> isn't she a member? <laughs> yes, she's in Scientology. Oh, but you know Tom so Cruise. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> don't try and flip this on me. I think it's just too ironic mm -hmm. that she's in a show about like, watch out for these yeah, cult-like behaviors. Table. By the way, I'm a Scientologist. But I guarantee if she was as hot as Pamela Anderson, everyone would know her name regardless if she was a Scientologist. This is, this is true. This is true. Blasphemous. You know the redhead's name. I know Margot Martindale's name. I don't know, is she ugly? She's not ugly. She's a famous character actress, so I never <laughs> call her ugly. I think that the success of Suicide Squad firmly rests upon the shoulders of the fact that she is so hot as, yeah. as Harley Quinn yeah. that she like single-handedly powered like Halloween sales. Yeah. Which is why I think The I've Suicide Squad- I've been Margot Robbie like four times since then. So I yeah. think that that's part of the reason that The Suicide Squad is coming out again because they're like, we need to sell more Halloween costumes. I'm excited for it because Pete Davidson is in it. Pete Davidson. I love Pete Davidson. What is it with this guy? <laughs> I love him. He, he got to have like sex would, with Ariana Grande. He would disrespect me and I'm into it. That is so... He wouldn't call me back. 
Why do women like that? One celebrity crush. Ludwig gives you a get out of jail Orlando free. Orlando Bloom. You didn't even have to. <laughs> Orlando think. Bloom. So it's Orlando Bloom, Gerard Butler, and Pete Davidson. Harry Styles. One of those fun. men is so Bjergsen. far <laughs> below the quality of the other ones. What are your five? You get five. I get five? Yeah, because I just, I named lot. five very quickly. Jeez. Okay. Five. Ina Gardner, barefoot Contessa, number one. <laughs> She's gonna cook for me all butter. It's gonna I get weird. I love that. I love that. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Who's your get out of jail free sleep with celebrity? Hers is fuck Pete Davidson. What? I know it's like. Well, she it was keep... Orlando Bloom is number one. Yeah. Uh, really? I named so five. There's two? You're, you she five? said five to me. What? Yeah. You're just cheating on me then. That's not a... <laughs> <laughs> well, if you give me if five passes. Long enough, yeah. Who's the girl in Gossip Girl? Like Lively. No, no, no. Leighton Meester? The other girl in Gossip Girl? That's crazy. Why is that crazy? Leighton that's crazy. Meester, no one, th that's just crazy. I'm surprised. Sorry, sorry she has some fans. Still. No, I think it's great. What that's are you making today? How's it going? Garlic, Garlic bread. bread. She yeah, doesn't like bread. What? She told me she doesn't like bread. No, I don't like bread. I didn't know this. I make bread all the time. I you don't like it. bread? <laughs> I said that is the widest <laughs> spectrum of food. You know what I hate these days? Water. Yeah. Liquid-based you know. foods. If you don't want to go through all the labor, throw the garlic into this thing, throw the lid on, and then you can shake the piss out of it. You gotta really... Oh my God. You did get one. You got one. Two, almost. Dude. <laughs> you ever play Metal Gear Solid? No. There's one in, there's a saying in Metal Gear Solid 5 on the back of someone's coat that just says, never be game over. Uh -huh. Which is kind of like, I think, broken translation from yeah. Japanese to English, but I like it and I want to get it tattooed on myself somewhere. Ludwig and Slime have each other's names. Yeah. You How do you feel about to do that? that? I think it's fine. It was going to be on Ludwig's butt, which I was like, please don't do that. Because I love Ludwig's butt. It's like my, one of my favorite things about him. So he didn't get it on his butt and he got it on his thigh. And then I realized I don't really see his ass during sex as much as I see his thigh. So you're always looking. So there have been times where I'll be like, you know, performing fellatio, and oh. then I'll see Slime's name, and it's I'm like, better than oh, seeing Slime's it. face. It can is. you imagine if you got yes, Slime's yes, face yes. That, and it's just Slime giving you a look? Yeah, that would have so been awful. Oh my sweet lord! Look how beautiful. Oh, wow. And how easy was that? You guys saw? It really is dick-like. It is very phallic. This is our bread. I want you guys to hear this crust. Oh. That's amazing. That is amazing. Oh. Um, this needs to cool for three hours before Jeez. you use it. Jeez. Don't worry, though. No. Cutie, no. Four phases of production, Chad. What's this guy's we name? We already got it. This guy's name, I named him Chad. Chad? Yeah. I get it, Chad's thick. Chad is thick. Look at that beautiful okay. aeration. That is beautiful fucking bread. All right, so you're gonna start Slopping lathering this mother effer in butter. Yeah, I want you to see what's happening over here. We're just slapping it up. Look at all that butter. So now we're gonna take these loaves. Let me try to remember this. We're gonna do face down first. We're gonna add some weight to these. The reason being, this will toast your bottoms. So I'm just gonna kind of mush, and we're gonna throw it in like this, so then it stays with that little bit of weight on it. So that's only gonna go in there for like five more minutes, and then it'll be done. It smells so good. Amazing. We're gonna make uh, one more type of garlic bread, the easy one that you guys can do. And so while that's cooking, we're just gonna make more compound butter. Oh, now that's the cheese. This is the cheese. We're gonna do a mix of mozzarella, Fontina and Parmesan for oh our cheesy garlic bread. Golly. So is this gonna be the second bread? Is this is our second cheese? bread, yeah. So the first one is like the pure. The, that is homemade as it comes. This one's gonna be a little- This one's like the Fancy store-bought, yeah. yeah. Look what we yummy, got going on Yummy, yummy, yummy. Nice and golden on the edges. We have some golden, some golden uh, garlic on top. I'm gonna add some flaky salt. The heat currently is going to wilt those herbs, so they're gonna stick more to the uh, garlic bread. You can kind of hear them sizzle even a little bit when you put it down. Oh my. Okay, chat, we're gonna do some cutting ASMR. Oh, wow. I think it could have more butter. Oh my god. <laughs> the bread is like so flaky and light. Mm. The texture of that is so 
good. Here's what I will say. A lot of times when I have garlic bread, it's very heavy. This yeah. didn't even taste that heavy. No, it's like a cloud. It, it was like very light. Yeah, you can keep eating that without feeling bogged down. Chat, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot I was on stream. That was <laughs> that was the closest you've seen me to getting horny on stream. That was that was wild. It's that really was so great. Good. Next one. You buy a freaking loaf from the grocery store. Yep. So, for those of you who want to save time, but you still got a hot date you need to impress. This is very, 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 very fun. Uh, and it's really, really good. And it's cheap. And you serve this with hot sauce, marinara sauce. You got like, uh, we're gonna do what's called a, a hatch cut on this. So all you do, we're gonna go to diagonal. I'm gonna go all the way over here, like an inch or two inches cross. So let me find my- Crisscross. Look at that. So it's all connected. So now look at this. Whoa. Or it's like a bloomin' and... onion of bread. Yep. First things first. Actually, we can just use, we can literally use a turkey baster oh here. My God. And then I, I, am I penetrating and injecting? Yes, you're injecting everywhere. Oh my God, just get, get real. Get in there nice and, nice and deep black. Oh, nasty. <laughs> you're getting too much enjoyment out of this. We are earning that 18 plus rating today, chat. Yeah. This is Watch graphic. This in slow motion if you want. If your parents come in during this section, <laughs> Flip away to porn because it's easier to explain because this is nasty. All right, do we cheese this now? So yeah, so now we're gonna mix our, our cheese mixture and then we're just gonna start inserting. Oh my God. And yeah, so we're making this packed. You don't wanna miss an, an alleyway. This is like three cups total of cheese. So you can do any mixture of cheese you want. You'll just need probably about three cups. Chat says spamming, I'm gonna crumb. <laughs> I'm gonna, Keep it in, guys. Can we make a shirt that <laughs> says I'm gonna crumb? We will have dinner and a movie merch at some point. Yeah, um, I'm so gonna crumb free. is my favorite. It's like, we might just change the name of the show to I'm, to gonna, I'm gonna crumb. I'm about to add this oh, bread man. to my fight list. <laughs> Jesus. 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 Oh, I'm gonna crumb. Should I get the boys for this taste test? I just want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the boys. Hold on. Look at that. Do you guys see that cheese string? Okay, we have two kinds. We have two kinds. Okay. One that will make you erect, and one that will make you come. <laughs> so I have to do them in a certain order. Yeah. This is, this this is, is the, the comer. This, this is, is the comer. This is absurd. So this wait, is what absurd. was the, what was the movie that this was from? Scott Pilgrim versus Kitty, this the is world. This is abomination. Oh, right. It's too good. It's actually too good. Okay. Did you make this? So this is made from scratch. So this is Will's. No, they're both. We made mm. both of them. Hmm. Great garlic bread, right? Yeah, this is great. Garlic the, bread. The cheese okay, try one this is a one. sin against garlic. We made two. We made two. A cups. sin against in a good way. This, this one is, is so good. This is with homemade like paradise bread. lost. This is toasted really nicely too. So this is the homemade bread. The mouthfeel of this bread, spectacular. The, I think this is just very. The mouthfeel of this bread is spectacular. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Now get into the main event. You're gonna crumb. Just take a nugget. I mean, this looks good visually. It's absurd. That's that's dumb good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's stupid, goofy good. Yeah. This would be great at like a restaurant as an app. You have a little bowl of marinara well, sauce. Gonna, like we're a gonna start one. So. Style. Yeah. That's great like, job. Thank you. You nailed right. it today, Will. Okay. You did really she good. Did everything. That's like f good. The Time crazy gets. thing is, is this one is easier to make. Yeah. Because you don't have to make your own bread. Wait, really? Wait, I thought you yeah. did make your own bread. We did for this one, but then this one, I was trying to show people the option of just like. Yeah. So this is like store bought bread? Yeah. Yep. I feel like I'm selling this something right now. Wait, you're so telling me this is store bought? I can get this from any store? I can do this at home. You well, tell me, I, I, I just gotta buy your cookbook three times a day, I can still lose weight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's 10 out of 10. I'm like post coital right now. I like never want it to run out, but I also do because I have to stop eating it. This is oh. It. Yeah, this is my meal for this. This has made my day significantly better. <laughs> we did it again. They did it again. We are out here making the best food Twitch.tv has ever seen. That's right, they done did it again. We uh need to nap now. Yep, that's gonna do it for episode two of Dinner and a Movie. Maybe now known as I'm Gonna Crumb, which I like a lot. <laughs>